All right, fellas, let's. We're back here. Where were we again? I think. Did we save? Forty-eight. Yeah, we're saving save slot one. Now that we're here, let's see. Uh, this is chapter three. Bad ending, right? Let me just check. Chapter three. Yeah, second infirmary. Let's examine some stuff. Examine Peter. It's an old fashioned. Oh, wait, didn't we already have those things? Uh huh. Inventory. I think we have the talisman, lab key, alcohol, matches. Uh, wait, we're done with the matches though. I think we should go for the custodian's closet. Uh, yeah, I think we should go there. Back. Turn to game. I'm a little bit darkened, so why not use this? Cure darkening. Yeah, look at that. I'm all happy again. Cool. Let's go. Careful of the glasses. Wait. What's this? This is classroom, second floor, uh, science lab. We're already done with this. Nothing. Three A. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Ooh, stop lagging, game. Is this where we go? Is this the path to the custodian closet again? Forgot. Maybe. Let's save here. Or maybe it's on the left side. Trophy displayed. Uh, trophy displayed. Door looks like a burst. Okay. But it now seems like an extremely bad idea. So not here. Let's go down. Maybe it's to the left. Oh, God. Come on, Ayumi. Is he gone? Oh well. Is this the part of the custodian's closet again? Mm -hmm. Is it because I stepped on one of them flesh floors? That's why it's happened like that? Is this it? Now this is the reference room. File floor. Nothing. Let's see. Main building, room floor with third floor with chair. Nothing here. Huh. Nothing here too. God damn it. Okay. Okay, look at that. Almighty God cleanses his child's sins. The Lord that spoke in no soul may reside in trees that have died. The voice seemed to be coming from inside the classroom. Alright, let's save first though. Here, yeah. 
Wait, let me. I just want to see this though. Return to turtle. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think. Did we get the bad ending the third? Oh, yeah. So we're done with bad ending one. Yeah. So what's next is uh, back. Classroom 1C. Right. Okay. How did the uh, How do I get bad ending two? Go to second floor, choose one, and uses something something. What classroom is this? Apparently, a classroom that I shouldn't go in. Oh my God! Take mercy on this impure soul. Strike down this person with one firm swing of thy divine blade, O oh Lord. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Suddenly there was a woman standing in the middle of the classroom. She had her back turned to me. As soon as I saw her, my phone's screen flicked off. Bathing the room in darkness, all I could make out before and was this figure was female, no other distinguishing features. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Get killed by angry spirit. Okay. Owie. Wait, really? Oof. So, oh, okay. really? That's the wrong end? Huh. Weird. Uh, let's see. Yeah, go out of class and re-enter it. Take the object of this. Right. That's that's a wrong ending. It didn't really end at all. It, uh, whatever. Come on, Ayumi, let's go. Recover some of your stamina. Skip some parts. Lord Sheen. Stop lagging. I'm gonna hold the space. We need to get out of here as fast as we can. There you go. There you are. No. Save here again because I die easily. Now that we're done with that. Go out of class and re-enter it. Take the object in the desk to get walkway key. Go back to first floor hallway and use the doors near the east. Right. Is he still there? No more. Cool. Walkway key obtained. And then, uh... First floor hallway. Man, it'd be great if it was like a a map. First floor hallway. Oof! Stop lagging, game. Oops! Glasses. Broken glasses. First, is this is staircase though. Am I going the right way? I don't know. Let's see. First floor hallway, okay. And then in here, use the doors near the east staircase. Uh, on the southeast side. Huh, didn't I go to the west though? Is this it? Use walk wiki. Oh, cool. Alright. Ooh. Covered walkway, and then out of here, um, uh, walk the path marked by the towel and go to the northeast corner. Path. There's a dusty old towel hanging here. Marked by the towel thing. Huh? Am I supposed to go here? It was this way, right? Maybe. 
cutscene. Where is it? Come on, please be here. Oh yeah, the Book of Shadows was some thrown away by Yuki, that bitch. <laughs> Well, oh, oh, I can move. So, let's see. Let's look around. Maybe it's here. Hello, the rock. There are a large number of slugs crawling on and around the sculpture. Great. Oh, is that it? Cool. Found it. Ah, oh, she's so cute. Look at that. She's so happy. Good job, Bayumi. Yay, this is it. This is... It did look similar to the Book of Shadows, but the green hardcover binding was fashioned in an unfamiliar pattern. The grimoire, the Book of Shadows, was kind of like this, right? Huh, is it though? Place it on the ground and cracked open the cover. It seemed to be a medical manual, featuring numerous old diagrams on autopsy and dissection. Conjoined twins, incurable diseases, twin pregnancy, intrauterine fetal death. That I pronounce it, I'm sure it didn't. It isn't. It was all childbirth related. I couldn't believe it. I come all this way, put myself and others at risk, all for. So it is in the Book of Shadows. Lol. The wrong book. What a waste of time. This isn't it. This isn't the book. So where's the real one? Hey there, what's up? Snicker. This bitch, I hate this bitch. Yuki. Yeah. What are you doing? Why are you send why are you setting yourself on fire? Ooh, that's a terrible laugh. So she took the book. What the fuck is that laugh? Who are you? What the? Who's that? Sachi. Yeah, I know. What? Aiko? Whoa, what the hell happened to you? Ayumi, stop! Well? Aiko? Keep your distance from that girl. You're in grave danger. Yeah, I could tell from the way she holds that axe. Who is she? It can't be Sajiko, can it? Nope. I don't know, but that's not important right now. Listen, Ayumi, okay? You came here in search of the Book of Shadows, right? Yeah. The Book of Shadows isn't here. It never was. The only thing here is the Nirvana that the book spawned. There's nothing at all to be gained from this place. Oh, shit. How do you know this, though? No. The thonograph I took was a reflection of this girl's malice. It was a trap to bring more people in. I could produce several more photos, exactly like the thonograph she'd shown me before. Look, these are all the thonographs I found here. Each photo varied wildly in its coloring, in some looking brand new and others looking significantly aged, but the figure in the picture was always exactly the same. They're identical to yours. No matter whose picture it is, they all showed the same girl in the same pose. But the thing that gets imprinted in her hand is different every time. It's based on whatever the thotographer is most desperate to find. How that works, I don't know. <laughs> sure enough, the item the girl was holding in her left hand differed in every single picture. How can you tell? No one can tell it, right? Whatever. It wasn't just a book of shadows, but things like a silk cloth, human bows, a beat-up checkered pattern doll always held the same hue, but never the same object. We were all baited by a book that doesn't even exist here, and we walked right into it. This place is under her control, and if we stay here, we're all going to go insane. We can't last much longer. We need to get out. Do the chant now. What? I was confused for a moment, wondering why Aiko wouldn't just make use of her ever after so to get home right then and there, but that's when I noticed her hand. There were massive puncture wounds on it, as if she were bitten by a wild dog. It was so bad that the white ligaments in her finger were actually exposed, visible to the naked eye. Aww. Come on, hurry. Where? I don't see any wounds on her hands. Where's the puncture? Nope. 
She was breathing heavily, a testament to how much pain she must have been enduring. I didn't want to crush her spirits, but I knew what she was hoping for, and it was something I couldn't provide. I can't. You have the ever after stones, right? So use them already, please. I don't. The person I came with has them, and I don't know where he is. Shit. Shit. So Sachi's just standing there, watching all this unfold. You fucking kidding me? <laughs> we can't go home, can we? So what do we do? I don't know. Explore? Continue on? Really? Just Sachi just standing there? There you go. Finally. That took a while. <laughs> Eek. What? Why is she on fire now? <laughs> the fuck? So, Sachi just stopped attacking? Hot, hot, hot. No, really, she just. Sachi just stopped attacking because, hey, look, someone's on fire. Cool. Hot, hot. I could know. I'm burning. Yeah, I couldn't tell. Thanks for that. Let's see. What are we gonna do? Use an axe? End her suffering? Her misery? God, what do I do? There has to be something I can use. I guess I just... What? Uh, I still had some water left in the bottle I brought with me. I quickly removed it from my pack and dumped its contents over Aiko. That took a while. She should have third degree burns by now. Yeah. Wait, what did you do? Did you just pour alcohol lamp? Ah, you bitch, why would you do that? <laughs> you did the complete opposite. Oops. Aiko, I'm so sorry. You bitch, did you change water into wine? Or gasoline? Wait, what? What, what is that? What did that sound? Aiko. Is that you just standing there like a fucking dick? Ah, I'm burning. Yeah. So where does she go now? Which way did she go? Aiko, please don't die. She's gonna die. She's dead already. Aiko. I'm out of batteries. What now? If this dies on me, are you fucking kidding me? I... Infinite battery mode? What the fuck? I need to hurry. Where are you going, Ayumi? I chased after Aiko. It was really the only thing I could do. She may not have the stones anymore, but safety in numbers was a real commodity in these parts, yeah. You need a sacrificial pawn. <laughs> hey, look who's here. Damn it, it's darker than I remember. I guess I'm here though. Well. But that means Heavenly Host is still standing after all, and that's a real kick in the ass. What a kick in the ass. Shinazaki, are you here somewhere? Hey, look, a candle. That's one of Shinazaki's candles, yeah. Don't take it away. No mistake, I guess you couldn't have gone too far, right? Hang in there, Shinazaki. I'm coming for ya. Yeah. Are we done? Really? Cool. Yeah, we're done. This this is pretty good. I like this. So if I don't care. Extra chapter? What? There's extra chapters here too? Fucking kidding me? Oh, fuck, man. You are done with chapter 3. Hurrah! That's a new chapter, chapter 4. Chapter 4, Pillars of the Six Demons. Six Demons, wait, okay. What are you doing here, Yumi? But okay. It, I'd been wandering around exhausted out of my mind, aimlessly searching for every corner of the building for Aiko. Eventually, I wound up in the custodian's closet. Okay, so while Aiko was running around burning alive, no ghost was like, hey, look at that. That's a person being burned alive. Wanna go catch her? There you go. Okay, how many Ayumi noises are we gonna listen to today? It was no use. Aiko was long gone. I was all alone. I'd been here long enough that I began to worry about my phone battery dying. I didn't want to shut it off completely, but I at least left it prudent to turn off the screen. What now? If the book isn't here, then what the hell did I get so worked up about? Yeah. I should never have come. 
My voice was breaking. I'd more or less given up by this point. <gasps> My newly darkened phone screen suddenly lit up again, and as the call came through, it was Misuro. Yo, full of regrets again, I took it. You're pretty pathetic, you know. Well, that didn't take long. I went from relieved to infuriated in a single heartbeat. Nice one, Ayumi. What the hell is with you? Are you watching me or something? You knew exactly how I was feeling last time you called too. How do you know my moods? Don't know, just my sixth sense, I guess. And why don't you pick up when I call you? Well, that's an easy one, because you're a pain in the ass. So, how's everything going? I sighed a little on the inside. It was becoming clearer and clearer that this was just Misuro's way. Try my best to ignore his abuse and simply answer his question. It's not here. The Book of Shadows, it's not here, confirmed by the second intelligence girl. That photo was created by someone in the school as a ruse to bring people here from the outside world. It's a fake. You serious? I'm out of options. There are no more leads to file for resurrecting my friends. Some Shinazaki you turned out to be. Does the blue line slowly turn to piss with each generation or something? You can't even get your hands on one single book of shadows? I'm no longer just embarrassed for you, I'm embarrassed by you. But you said it would be here too, didn't you? So you're a liar. Yeah. You tell him, Ayumi. Oh man, that is rich. Nothing I told you is a lie. But if the skin isn't here, that's definitely a miscalculation on my part. The skin? Listen, this dimension represents the nirvana that the Book of Shadows created, right? So somewhere in here you'll find a nirvana's core. I didn't tell you about this? What does that have to do with anything? If I can't find a book, I can't resurrect my friends. And if I can't resurrect my friends, then there's no point in me coming here. So what are you going to do about that? There's a girl trying to kill me who's acting an awful lot like Sachiko and I can't take much more of this whimper. <laughs> God, I love Ayumi's voice actor. She's so hilarious. Hey, you might want to listen when someone's giving you crucial information, okay? Since the Book of Shadows created the Nirvana, the Nirvana score is made up of its contents. Huh? Find the core somewhere in this dimension, it's pretty much the same thing as finding the Book of Shadows, meaning you might be able to cast soul retrieval magic or whatever. So I can still bring everyone back? Yeah, even without the skin, there are still all the internal organs. If the spell's there, you should be able to cast it from the contents alone. Okay, fine, I'm not gonna question that bullshit. My cheeks were on fire. It felt as though all the blood in my body had been pushed up into my head. You've got bigger problems right now, though. There's a situation in here, and you created it. And now you have to take responsibility. What kind of situation? Something happened at Makina Shinazaki's apartment, right? That girl you came in contact with. The reason she's here now is because you brought something you shouldn't have from Makina's home. You mean the Ever After Stones? No, no, some part of a human body. Hair, bones, nails. Those two baby teeth I'd found. The ones that were stuck in my hand. Oh, I figured they must have had some kind of meaning, so I wrapped them in tissue and stuck them in my pocket. I'd forgotten all about them until that very moment. Teeth, huh? Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, baby teeth. And I do have them with me right now. The girl you encountered isn't Sachiko. The Martubas were researching this, but apparently there was another girl in Yoshie's womb alongside Sachiko, known as a vanishing twin. What? She died inside her mother, basically melted and got absorbed by her younger sister. So you can kind of think of her as Sachiko's unborn older twin. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Because that's how childbirth works. This was almost too much to process. Never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined something so bizarre. You, you could have just said something so stupid. <laughs> I think I heard her saying Sachi. Could that be her name? Sachi, huh? Good a name as any. That's what we'll call her then, Sachi. You can think of her as a petty spirit from our own world. Nothing more than a mischievous poltergeist at worst though. Unfortunately, you brought her teeth to Heavenly Host, so now she's managed to give herself a physical form and awaken here. Is that so? And in doing so, she's basically absorbed the entirety of Nirvana's power and has gone completely berserk. 
why her? Why is she such an exception compared to the other spirits that have been here for like decades or whatever? Or maybe it's because of of the Shinazaki bloodline or whatever. God damn it. Oh, whatever. She doesn't have any higher intelligence functions like Sachiko though, which means you can't reason with her. She's pretty much pure evil. Worse still, her powers are so strong that the spiritual chaos she's creating is spreading into the real world too, causing all kinds of shit to go down. Probably an unconscious grudge on her part for never having the chance to be born. But how did I awaken her? How is that even possible? Why would teeth from a child who was never born even exist? And how- yeah, wait. And if Sachi was never born to begin with, where the hell did baby teeth come from then? Whose baby th teeth are those? I- yeah, I don't get it. Obviously something happened at Makina Shinazaki's apartment though, we may never know that. Not worth worrying about right now either. We need to focus on what to do about Sachi. Her powers of absorption is enormous. It's causing this nirvana to shrink. And that's causing the dimensional wall that separates this world from ours to start to break down. The wall between the two worlds. What happens if it falls? Well, duh, it's gonna merge. Pretty much what you expect. It'd be the end of the world as we know it. For sure. Why would it be the end of the world? It's always the world ending things. I'm kinda... Again? If such a goes out into the real world, the ensuing chaos would be immense. People would go insane and start to kill each other or themselves. Death would pretty much rule the day. And those who have moved on to the ever after would all suddenly wake up. The earth would be taken over by vengeful spirits, leaving very little room for flesh and blood stragglers. How does one respond to a claim like that, especially when the elephant in the room is that this was all my fault? I'd literally be responsible for the end of civilization. <laughs> I was completely speechless, in shock most likely. All I could do was breathe heavily. Damn it, Ayumi, you did it again. <laughs> Why would you, you can't keep getting away with this. My heartbeat was pounding in my ears so loudly that I felt some part of me was about to snap. I had to say something to keep Misuro on the line. No, that can't be true. How does it feel, huh? What are you... But it feels pretty weird knowing that your actions are going to bring about the end of the world. Yeah, so dumb. <laughs> Where did the baby teeth even come from? Sachi was unborn and m merged or melted with Sachiko, right? So, yeah. Seriously, what the hell is your problem? Why would you say that? You're such an ass. I had no idea this could happen. You had no idea. Please. Oh, my stomach. <laughs> She's so cute. Look at that. Swaying her head back and forth. Uh, left and right. Nah. <laughs> I couldn't take any more of Misuda's crap. All I could do was scream at him over the phone and hope it hurts his ears or something. If you're so frustrated with yourself that you're that close to snapping, don't. There might still be a light at the end of the tunnel. Didn't even phase him. He just kept on talking with that same cocky tone in his voice. <laughs> the only person who can stop the world from ending is, again, you. <laughs> it was just one sound, but I could barely get it out. I had almost no voice at this point. It was just a mess of tears and confusion. Listen up, okay? You have a new objective. In order to stop Sachi, you have to get this Nirvana moving. And for that to happen, you'll need more divine re real providence on your side. Divine providence? What the crap is that? You seen any pillars since you got here? Pillars? What kind? There was that black object I saw from the window, but I didn't know if that was what he meant. The Nirvana was built out of a bunch of uh, Sephiroth and a bunch of pillars, okay? The pillars are made up of spiritual matter and, honestly, I'm not gonna be able to explain it so you understand. So just know that they're called the Pillars of the Six Demons. Yeah, understandable. They should be located somewhere in the school. And even though they're called pillars, they can really be any shape or size. Pillars of the Six Demons? Yes, Ayumi, I'm glad that you're listening. Just keep listening. The Pillars of the Six Demons that exist in here, uh, the Pillars of the Six Demons that exist here in this Heavenly Host represent the North, North, East, North, West, South, East, South, West, South directions. You need to release the seal on each of them to complete the hexagram within the skull, and you're the only one who can do it since you're a Shinazaki. I'm the only one, but why? Because you're a Shinazaki and this Nirvana was brought into existence by the Shinazaki bloodline. 
Of course it is. Yoshi Shirazaki's actions created this mess, so only I could clean it. I considered the responsibility that had just been laid upon me, and unconsciously gripped the hem of my skirt. The power is shielding these pillars fairly weak though, but before you ask, so what do I do? That's why you're releasing all six, to gather all that energy into one area. When the hexagram is formed around the core, all that power will crystallize and combine. Then no matter how strong this statue is, you should be able to send her back to hell. Why do you know all of this? And why should I believe any of it? Can you show me any proof that any of this is true? I'd rather not, but fine. I told you when we got here, I'm Yagora, which means I'm descended from a bunch of shitty spiritual mediums. Specific specifically, I'm the son of a Shinto priest. My knowledge of the Nirvana and Hell, for that matter, was all beat into me before I even knew how to walk. Yagora, I do recognize the name. She's talked about them once or twice. Well, we're kind of up there with the Shinazaki family, which is how I got to know your sister. Yeah, you said you were her protege, right? Yeah. Anything more than that? The fuck are you implying? Don't go making shit up in your head. I swear if you weren't her sister, I wouldn't even bother with a lost cause like you. Now listen, first thing you gotta do is defeat that spirit. Even if you do manage to find the Nirvana score, there's not much point in bringing your friends back to a dying world. So your goals here are simple. Protect the world by hurling Sachi back to hell where she belongs. And find a car so you can resurrect your buddies. Think you can handle that? Sure. I mean, maybe I can? It felt like a boat drifting out on the ocean, allowing itself to be carried wherever the wind may take it, whether I wanted to go that way or not. Even with the best plan of attack laid out in front of me, in no uncertain terms, I found it difficult to be certain about anything. It was like my willpower had already died. Where are you? I was staring at the odd cube Misura had given me before we jumped here, eyes swollen with tears. Yeah, I'm trying to find you too, but I think we're in different spaces. That's what I was afraid of. Even if I succeeded, how could I get back? Was this basically a suicide mission for me? I don't... I didn't want any of this. All I wanted to do at that moment was break down and cry. Don't worry, though. I'll come and save you once we meet up. If everything's taken care of, we can go home together using the Ever After Soul, so take care, okay? Can I really believe that? Yeah, the gem I gave you will react to the pillars of the six demons, so keep an eye on it and you should be able to figure out when you're getting near one. Anyway, good luck. Wait, by gem do you mean... Click the conversation was over. Now what? This? I stared a little more skeptically at the so-called Argus cube in my hands. Did you know all of this was going to happen before we even came here? Damn it! Why does he have to be so cold? <laughs> Why does he have to be so cold? Okay. Oh, can we move now? Let's see. Yay, we can move. Uh, open up. Examine the heater for some matches. Cool. So many seats have moved inside the cabinet. Countless bugs. Countless bugs. Now nice it's yeah. Sup, dude. There's a face burning to the screen. Uh oh. Oh, good. It didn't give me the darkening or some crap like that. Um, she will enter classroom for it, and there you will find some bandages and a talisman. That sounded like it was coming from the second floor. Could it be Aiko? Possibly. Where is classroom 4A? Nope. Is this classroom 4A? Let's see. Classroom 5A. Didn't say anything about classroom 4A, so no, not here. There might be a spirit. Hmm. Oops, careful. Is this classroom 4A? Classroom 4A. Oopsie. Tripwire. Move that. Nothing here. Where's the badge using the talisman? But now that I think about it, I've never used the talisman on any any ghost before. So ow! Oh, the glasses thingy. Shit. 
careful. Where is that thingy? How do I get over there? Oh, here. There you are. Bandages, and then... Uh, talisman, cool. Wait, so you mean to tell me that the stuff I collected is no longer... Oh, son of a bitch. It sucks that it... Uh, it sucks that I don't get to keep the stuff that I collected. Like, what's the point of collecting stuff if it's gonna uh, get removed from you? At the next part optional enter classroom 6a near the lockers if you go down the circle hallway to obtain the talisman okay if we get if we ever get there oh shit a ghost Get away, Ayumi. Shit, I'm stuck. Wait, am I safe? Hmm. Crap. I think we should go down here. Cool. Is this crash from 6A? It doesn't open. Why doesn't it open? There you go. Classroom 6A the, near the lockers if you go down to obtain the talisman. Oh, it's shining over there. Careful of the stuff. Flesh floor. Cool. Cool. Got a talisman. That's nice. Okay, done with that. Okay, is there a spirit? Cool. It says here another test may be the poster in the wall near the uh, near the east staircase. Cool. Use the west stairs to get to the second floor. Okay. West. Let's go to east. Head up north. Oops, broken floor. No running the halls, okay. Okay, go over here. And then head up north. Looks careful of the glass of the broken stuff. Optional, enter first door on the left for classroom 1C. There will be some batteries, be aware, fan, uh, no, I don't care about the batteries. Head further north, there is a safe point here, cool. There you go, funny. Wait, is that a loose board? No. Really? It isn't a loose board? Okay. Wait, what? Oh no. Don't tell me. Okay. Cool. The number of dials no longer in service. Are the carriers pressing outside the service area? Please try again later. Not gonna get through, huh? Damn it. Okay. Careful of the broken glasses stuff. Cool, I think I'm gonna edit here. Yeah, so this is pretty fun. I like this one. <laughs> Even though I'm not that energetic, but yeah, it is pretty fun. I like this. So yeah, there are a few things that I didn't like or don't understand. Like what? How does that work? How do those things even function? But eh, it doesn't matter. I enjoy this <laughs> because we see Ayumi be the star of the game. I like it a lot.